So in that um, case, I, I want to discuss the number one draft pick as well, uh, Tim, because uh, Tommy Brown's been big on this as well. A bit of speculation around what Adelaide might do with that number one draft pick. Brodie Grundy had a contract in 18 months' time. It's pretty clear about the fact that uh, Adelaide is a place that he would like to explore at some stage. So uh, what do you make of all that, Mick? Yeah, well, look, Brodie Grundy was asked about whether he'd be interested in going home, and here's a grab of what he said. So it has, it has some in intrigue to the story, no doubt. Well, the reality is, yeah, I, I am from, from Adelaide and, and obviously have my family and all my friends there and that's something that, um, you know, I wouldn't say, say no to, to, to being in Adelaide at, at some point in my life. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's something to, to obviously consider. So it begs the question, does Collingwood get ahead of the game and potentially ask for pick one if that is the case that Adelaide end up with it for Brodie Grundy. They're in a, they're in a strong position, aren't they? Very strong position. And, and look, Brodie knows, as well as the rest of the competition, he will have to take a pay cut to stay at Collingwood. He will get offered more to yep. leave. Yep. So he'll get offered more to go home. He's got to weigh up what, what he wants out of his footy career. But if he wants more money, it'll be to go to Adelaide. And if Adelaide are smart and they want Grundy, then that number one pick as it sits right now is very, very enticing. Okay, Skates of what? these three players on very the screen enticing. right now, Grundy, Degoe, Moore, in what order would you offer them up or in what order would you trade them? Look, I, I think, look, Darcy Moore is having an unbelievable season, but his, his injuries suggest that, you know, he hasn't probably fulfilled where he could go. Um, he has the potential to do anything. Right now, Brody Grundy's arguably the best ruckman in the game, All-Australian last year, and Degoe is a match winner. He's a match winner. He's, he's the guy there that can grab a game by the scruff of the neck in 10 minutes and win it. So he's You've never loved Ruckman. Would you <laughs> offer up Grundy ahead of um, the other two? Or would you think that Collingwood could do without Grundy if, more than they could do without the other two? I, I, think, I think they could. Now, he's, he's a different type Ruckman. He's, a mid, he's averaging 21 disposals a game. But I would, be, I would suggest yes to that, to, to those other two. And it's counterintuitive to everything I stand for, but I agree with that. I think you can't replace Jordan Ngoi. I reckon Collingwood would win the grand final if Darcy Moore plays last year. Yeah. Brody Grundy is a star and one of the most influential players in the game at the moment. But if you get a number one draft pick, he has value. If you get some salary cap relief. They've got Mason Cox who can play in the right. You find another 25-year-old. Stranger things have happened, Tim. Just stay tuned on, uh, on that one.